Good day everyone. We are now in quarter one, week number eight of mathematics four. So here our topics for today is to solve routine and non-routine problem involving division of three to four digit numbers by one to two digit numbers including money using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. Objective, at the end of the lesson, you should be able to solve routine and non-routine problem involving division of 3 to 4 digit numbers by 1 to 2 digit numbers including money using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. So, here are the two categories of problem solving. We are have routine and non-routine problem in Routine word problem, it involves at least one of the four arithmetic operations and or ratio to solve problem that are practical in nature. It also involves a series of steps. So here is the sample of routine word problem. Four steps of folias in pr problem solving. We have understand, plan, solve, and look back. In understanding, we're going to know what is us and what are the given facts. In planning, we're going to determine the operation to be used and write the number sentence. In solving the problem, we're going to solve the number sentence and we're going to write our complete solution. And look back, we're going to write and check and interpret our answer. We're going to write our label. So, in non-routine word problem, it is a com any complex problem that requires some degree of creativity or origi originality to solve. So, here are some strategies in solving non-routine problem. We have diagram pattern, listing table method, guess and test, drawing and making a diagram. So, here are some uh, strategies to solve non-routine problem. So, let's start a problem. A, prob uh, a total of 1,953 volunteers in Valenzuela City join a clean and green project. If these volunteers were divided into nine equal groups, how many volunteers were in each group? So, let's analyze. So, let's have an understand. What is us in the problem? Very good. So, the total number of volunteers were in each group. How about what are the given facts? Very good. We have 1,953 volunteers and 9 equal groups. How about the plan? What would be the operation to be used? Very good. We have a division. And then, what would be the number sentence? Very good. We have N is equal to 1,953 divided by 9. So, now, let's proceed in solving. So, N is equal to 1,953 divided by 9. So, the dividend is inside the D, uh, long division bar, and the divisor outside the long division bar. So, 19 divided by 9 is 2. 2 times 9 is 18. Subtract. 19 minus 18 is 1. Bring down 5. 15 divided by 9 is 1. Then 1 multiplied by 9, the answer is 9. Subtract. 15 minus 9, the difference is 6. Bring down 3. Then 63 divided by 9 is 7. 7 times 9, the product is 63. 63 minus 63, the difference is 0. So the answer is 200. 17.
So, let's interpret and write our answer. So, look back. Answer. Therefore, there were 217 volunteers in each group. So, to check our answer, correct. So, and this would be our number sentence. So, 217, this would be our answer. Multiply it by 9. Then, 9 times 7 is 3. Remain, uh, 63. Remainder, uh, uh, carry. 6. 1 times 9 is 9. Last 6 is uh, 15. 5, carry 1. Then, 9 times 2 is 18 plus 1 is 19. So, there are the same. Okay, next, let's proceed to example number 2. Problem number 2. Mrs. Austria bought 5 shirts and 2 pairs of pants for 5 thousand pesos if a shirt costs 450 each find the cost of each pair of funds so this problem is a non-routine word problem so let's understand and analyze the problem okay what is asked in the problem very good so the total uh, cost of each pair of pants. Then, what are the given? The given are 5 shirts at 450 each and 2 pairs of pants and 5,000 pesos. So, these are the given. Then, let's plan the problem. So, what would be the strategy to use? Okay, let's going to use the illustration or drawing a diagram. So, solve. So, step number one, find the cost of five shirts. We're going to find the cost of five shirts. So, 450 plus 450 plus 450 plus 450 plus 450 is 2,000. Uh, 250 cost of 5 shirts then step number 2 subtract the total cost of 5 shirts from a total amount spent so we're going to subtract the total amount spent is 5,000 pesos minus the cost of 5 shirts is 2,250 pesos is equal to cost of the 2 pair of pants is equal to 2,000 750 pesos so divide the remaining amount by 2 to get the cost of each pair of funds so 2750 uh, divided by 2 is 1375 pesos this would be the illustration 2 pair of funds is 2750 each of them cost 1,375 pesos. So, state the final answer. Therefore, the cost of each pair of funds is 1,375 Correct answer. So, let's try again another problem. Number 3. A car traveled 351 kilometers in 9 hours. What was the average distance it cover in one hour? So let's analyze the problem. This would be a routine or routine problem. So this would be a routine problem. So let's understand what is asked in the problem. Very good. So the total average distance it cover in one hour. Then the given facts are. 351 kilometer in 9 hours and we're going to plan what would be the operation to be used the operation is division because of the word average and then number sentence so n is equal to 351 divided by 9 so 
this would be our number sentence and we're going to solve and is equal to 351 divided by 9 so the dividend inside the long division bar is 351 and the divisor 9 is outside the long division bar so 3 divided by 9 is cannot be so we're going to use 35 divided by 9 the answer is 3 9 times 3 is 27 subtract 35 minus 27 is 8 bring down 1 81 divided by 9 the answer is 9 9 times 9 is 81 81 minus 81 is 0 so the answer is 39 so let's check or look back the answer therefore the average distance it covered in one hour is 39 kilometer per hour so check our answer so this would be the number sentence 39 multiplied by 9 9 times 9 is 81 carry 8 9 times 3 is 27 plus 8 the answer is 35 so they are the same so, so let's summarize our lesson for the day what i have learned so to solve word problem there are a certain steps you must follow these are step number one understand know what is blank what is as what are the given and then step number two plan know the operation to be used correct and write the number sentence and step number three solve and perform the operation to be used show your solution and then step number four write your final answer and write the correct label or unit of your answer and then for non-routine word problem involving division and any other operation read and analyze first the problem carefully tell what is as and what are the given then use these strategies like acting out a problem listing tabling method guess and check or making a diagram using pattern working backward and etc to solve so to enhance your skills here is your task you're going to answer what's more so try this uh, letter B okay that's all for today here is the quote that I have read in the internet the only way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics by Paul Halmos so the more you practice the more you learn mathematics that's all for today thank you and God bless